Hello, this is Chasing Greater Gems, and I would like to open a Starbirth booster box. Of course, Starbirth. We're going to be looking for um, Arceus and Charizard. And anything that's, uh, I'm interested in seeing what the secret rare is going to look like for this. This is the first box I have opened. I've tried to keep myself a little in the dark when it comes to this. Like, I, I haven't spoiled it completely. I, I gotta admit, I did watch, I think it was uh, Max Mofo open one of these. If, uh, as I get into this, if you're, you enjoy my uh, openings or my mail days, if you uh, feel so inclined, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what uh what I should open next. I could uh, continue on with uh, more modern. Or if there's something in particular um, you'd like to see me open, let me know. Uh, I appreciate the the feedback and the people's comments. Kind of let me know that they're watching it and that they they want me to open something else. Like I, I like the interaction. I try to respond to most comments, if not all. Sometimes it takes a little while. I have a, a day job, so this uh, is kind of just a hobby of mine. So with Star Birth, I think it's really neat. It comes out with the, the game that's currently out right now. I've heard nothing but good things. I myself have yet to play it. As I said, I, got, I have a day job. I'm a, I'm a grad student and a graduate assistant uh, during the semester, so I really... I would love to buy it. Uh, it's not that I don't want to buy it. It's more that I'm afraid if I buy it, it's going to eat um, some of my time that I should definitely be spending elsewhere, which is the unfortunate reality of life sometimes. But best believe the second I get a little bit of a break, when the semester's over and I'm kind of in between things, I will definitely be wasting or spending some of my time playing that game but if you like it let me know let me know I, i've yet to hear negative things so if you are not enjoying it i would actually be really interested in knowing why so let's get into this oh that's neat i've said it in i think my last eevee heroes opening i really enjoy the hand-drawn stuff so that's a cool one piplup and the first v card of the opening is nice Lapras. Alright. We got a Sneasel. Crowded. Oh, hey! And we have a Charizard sighting. An Electrovire, I think. Electrovire. Evolution of Electobuzz. And the next, lo and behold, we have an Electobuzz. Turtwig. And we have a Hollow. And I am not sure who this character is. And let's go. We got some gears. And we have an Infernape. I think it's Crawdon. Star Raptor, I think. Shroomish. And nice. Another V card. So I'd really be interested in seeing the the star the the next uh that's a like an odd clay doll. It's kind of 3D. See it's kind of 3D. Alright. I'd, I'd be interested in seeing the, the 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 new kind of gimmick in the game. I always enjoy seeing something a little new. Pip -lop. Another hollow trainer. Let's see. Sneasel again. All right. V cards. Unfortunately named, but very. I like the. I like the. The size. Chim chimicho chimicho. All right. Actually, I sold one of the first things I sold on 
eBay was a winner card for Elite Play that had Jim Cho on it. Very cool. So that's kind of nostalgic. If you, uh, if you have any winner cards or Elite Play cards, let me know. What's your favorite? I have uh, one that's like a Charmander. It's, it's PSA 9. I don't plan on selling that guy. It's actually really cool. I quite enjoy it. It is part of my personal collection. And there he is again. Riolu. Belt. Maybe a headband. I think it's a belt. Looks like a very painful headband. Hey, there's our first V-Star. That is neat. Let's take a look at this a little closer. So there's actually texture on this guy. You can see kind of not, not on the border, but it, it is over the text. It's not quite as extreme, the texture, as uh, like Celebrations or some of the other cards, but it's still more textured than the V cards. It's like a upgrade to the V card. That's cool. Electro Buzz. That's neat. I like that. Komiya again. Always with the cool art. That is kind of the angry looking version there. The muck. Or Grimer. Yes, muck. It looks like muck. A gibble. Muck. Nose pass. Eggs. Oh, nice. There is our secret rare. This card actually reminds me of... I have an Illustrator card uh, in PSA 10 that came out, I think, with like a magazine. I, I picked it up a while ago, like when it first came out. Um, for like 30 bucks. It was, a, it was a steal. And that thing has just like continued to grow. But it's got that same same artwork where the Venusaur and Charizard are battling it out. Fernape. Clefairy? Or is that Clefable? I'm not going to go back and look. Dirtwig again. Oh, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. You're right over here. That's awesome. Go lurk. Or go lump. Go lurk, I think. Tartaria? Tartaria? Oh, so that must have been grammar, because here is muck. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I like the... A little bit dark. I always thought it was kind of neat. I like the... Trash Pokemon a little bit. It is not quite open. I don't want to force it. Spiritomb. Burnaby? Burnby? Bidoof. And... Nice. A little fan favorite going on there. I really enjoyed the the executor, the Alolan version, where he's much taller. And we have the V-card accompaniment to the V-star. So did, this is going to be a dumb question, but do V-stars evolve from V-cards? Or are they standalone? I'm not sure how the gameplay mechanic works. Alright, down to the final three. We got our secret rare. So... See what else we can pull. Nothing much in there. Uh oh, wipe your nose there, my friend. Plato again. Nice. And let's get some last pack magic. Let's see if we can get something. Something. 
I mean, we got something that is cool. And Moltres. And Clefable. So, I'm going to go through these because they're, it's my first box opening. So, these are things I have not seen before. Very cool. And very cool. And the Shaman. I'm going to stick the Charizard up front. The Shaman is very neat, too. We got Moltres. Napoleon, Fernape, two um, trainers, uh, V cards. So this is the um, secret rare. You can see the texture on that guy. This is definitely going to get graded. Uh, you can see it's off left to right though. And top to bottom, it's much thicker at the bottom, which is a shame. Which is a shame, but it's still a very cool card. And I pulled it, so that's definitely that. Probably won't. I have a feeling that's going to be a more common um, V-Star card. And then our Charizard V-Star. And this might actually go to just because. Always worth it. Alright. So this has been Chasing Greater Gems in Toy Media Thanks.